Oh, hello, you corny sods. Welcome, welcome. So I'm going to argue with this microphone boom arm for a few minutes whilst I uh, set things up. Ah, oh, there we go. How you doing, guys? Got a coffee here. Mm. So I figured I'd do a coffee time with Cobra. Just got to turn this fan off. Oh, oh no. There we go. Yes, print is finished printing something. I have to uh, get that off the print bed here and get it ready for the paint stream for later on tonight. There will be a paint stream today, guys, so fear not. I shall be painting miniatures. Uh, fix the chair. Actually, well, I've refixed it anyway. You guys may or may not know the uh, support arm, the bolts in it, sheared off. And um, the manufacturer who made these bolt, who made these chairs, really didn't know how to uh, use uh, galvanized steel because these things are rusted. See, they're rusted all the way through. And so the bolts literally just gave way. So what I did was they uh, uh, drilled through, made the whole, wallowed the holes out a little bit more, put a bit heftier bolts through there, added a nut, wrenched those buggers down, and now this arm's going nowhere, and I love it. So the chair's fixed, so yay for that. I just gotta put some new padding in this thing, um, which is my next uh, to do goal list. Uh, we're gonna be fin doing a little bit more touches up on the flying pug. That's me, one of my, that, and I've got a, uh, I'm gonna start putting down some base colors on the uh, Colossus Burst. And then once those are done, those will be the very last customers orders they'll be going out shipped out and then i'll be able to get back to doing my death guard army bases did come in first set of bases i bought were too small um but the next set of bases i bought were just the right size for the um, light drones so they're now on bases i just gotta weather them up and then they can and then base the models and then they can join the um death guard army um, same as the dreadnoughts. Uh, I'm gonna base up the. the we go. I'm gonna be doing a lot of basing tonight in 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 the stream. So look forward to seeing that. I've even gone ahead and bought myself a little treat. Bought myself a little raspberry donut. Hmm. Hmm. Gluten-free donuts. I might add. Yes, gluten free. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that. Fixed the headphones too, um, as you guys may or may not know. These um, are my workout headphones, and um, the buttons completely just fell off. Literally, I had them less than a day, and they just fell apart. These are just poorly manufactured. So. A little bit of ingenuity 3d printing and some sanding and there you go fixed good as new so there's those so they're fixed uh the only issues i'm having right now stream related is the green screen and i'm going to show you why if i turn on the filters so if i turn this filter on there you go now you see the issue no matter what i do Okay, to this green screen, it's just not gonna respond. See, eventually just it gets like this, and I think it's either the webcam or it's the, um, uh, or it's just OBS. So I'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. But then the green screen will be used um, a lot more in, um, the streams so you guys because you guys were saying that you wanted to see a lot more of my face uh in the streams and so if i go to here 
you know, you saw, you guys said you wanted to see my face a lot more. So what I'm planning on doing is um, zooming in like this, but having the green screen behind me. So there's less room of the camera being used. But at the same time, you get to see more of me, if that makes sense. So that's what I've got planned. And so, yeah, I've been extremely busy doing all of that. My depression has been kicking my ass. For the last couple of days, um, mm. Mm. bloody hell, I have jam all over my finger, raspberry, mm. oh that was sweet, mm. I've got lots of basin to do, materials to do. I'm going to be doing a little bit of clean up here today. Get both desks clean and ready. Monday morning I've got more, more, more tests to do to figure out what's going on with this fibromyalgia or whatever it is that's with me. Um, they took blood from me. You can't see it, but there you go, now you can see it. They took a whole bunch of blood from me. Um for a kidney test um don't have cancer that's another good thing um my my screens came back super super clear i am like 100 percent healthy uh but i for unfortunately i do have to have minor surgery uh for a uh a, a hernia and so it's what it is guys you know i'm getting older i'm getting older i overdid it at the gym and now i have a hernia uh, so <laughs> it is what it is, guys. I have a hernia, so they're scheduling uh, uh, that they want to try non-surgical way of of dealing with it first. And if that fails, they're gonna do an outpatient thing where they just and stitch it back up. So it is what it is, guys. <laughs> That's what happens when you get old. You know, you start falling apart. World of Tanks-wise, um, we're actually doing pretty good. Uh, video games-wise, I did recently start playing a game called Sync. And um, it's pretty cool. It's given me a lot of Division vibes, a lot of um, Destiny vibes. Um, it, it's weird. Because um, they've clearly separated the pvp and the pve which is a really good thing i think there's a lot of games out there that could that, that could really learn a lot from this game company the way they've they, the way they've done it I'm looking at you battlestate games um i really would like to see something happen in battlestate games where it's just pve you know, player versus environment. There's no um, other players unless you invite them in kind of thing. I mean, that's why I like playing the um, SP single-player Tarkov mod, which was kind of cool because it just it just allowed me to play the game how I wanted to play it, if that made sense. And not be, um, you know, not be rushed or anything like that. And... and which is why I genuinely did do, do like SP Tarkov. Uh, I don't have it installed right now, um, but I, I plan on reinstalling it. Um, waiting on my uh, landlord to make up his mind about whether or not he wants to upgrade the internet here. And then if he does, that means I can then get the, the um, third PC uh, uh, up and running for the uh, seven days to die server for the um left for dead server for the oh my god uh minecraft and a whole bunch of other servers i'll be getting them all up and running in that way everyone on the clan in, in the discord and whatnot can play world of tanks clan has been taking off again and i cannot stress this enough thank you snowman thank you uh, um, 
pattern. Thank you to, to everyone who's come back and, 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 and playing and whatnot. I love it. 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 Thank you so much. I really, really do. Uh, I am getting back into Enlisted as well. Uh, I've been playing it a little bit here and there off stream. I'm um, trying to ease myself back into it. I'm, I'm winding back on games like Warframe. Um, mostly because it's not because Warframe bores me. It's just because, honestly, um, there are certain things, certain, certain end game content that I can't do because I don't have certain other end game content items that are required for you to even participate, which doesn't make sense. Um, it, it's it's a snowball issue. If you don't, if if you join the game down here as the avalanche is falling you're going to get destroyed but if you're up here when the avalanche just first starts if you're here and the avalanche is down here and you ride that wave down you're, you're the winner 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 chicken dinner you know and so that's the problem with uh, uh warframes uh end game content right now and um i so i've decided to step back from warframe for a bit and started playing this game called synced um I've actually gotten quite a few weapons in the game now. Again, it's like the division. You you can get weapon sets that give you bonuses and passives and things like that and whatnot. And uh, it's actually pretty cool. I do like the game. Uh, it, it's one of those games that I, I it's a bit of a guilty pleasure for me. So when I'm not recording uh, um, on tracks for the uh, Object 268, which... Oh, the SU-101 tank. I'm still grinding on it now. It, oh, the thing has like three degrees of gun depression, which is giving me depression. <laughs> just, I'm trying to make it work, guys. I'm trying to make it work. Um, but I'm thinking I might ha just abandon that and go back to doing the uh, on track to the shit barn, to the FV-4405, 4005. Um and get that first and then uh and and slowly whittle away at getting um better at getting the object 268 because but uh, see this thing at the same time i've also got the isu 152 unlocked and that's only two tiers away from getting the object 268 so i don't know I I genuinely I genuinely don't know, so we'll, but we'll find out. We'll 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 figure it out, guys. We will figure it out. Um, we will figure it out. So that's where I'm at, World of Tanks wise. That's where I'm at, uh, video games wise. Um, again, Enlisted. I'm playing that again. Um, Hell Let Loose. I'm playing that. Um, War Thunder as well, but not as much as others. What stopped me from playing War Thunder is their constant changes to the economy. And um, because they're constantly changing the economy, making, oh, players feel like, oh, if they play this tank, they, they do get a lot more silver lines, so let's nerf that tank. Oh, we don't have enough players at this tier anymore because we've upped the price of the tanks and stopped them from getting money. And it, 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 it. it's like, you, you, you're killing your game. You are legit killing your own game why 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 are you killing your own game so why 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 are you killing your own game it makes no sense you know but that's gaijin for you and um yeah guys so uh, I want this is just going to be a quick update where I'm at kind of coffee time video um, But like I said guys, I will be streaming later on tonight at about 6 6 30 uh, on Twitch uh, And it will be a paint stream. So I'll be at the other computer not this one um, And so yeah, we will be doing some model basing uh, We will also be doing some more work on the pug the the, the rocket pug uh, We'll be using some green glitter so that'll be fun. A lot of PVA glue. Uh, so yeah, it'll be it'll be a messy experience. But anyway, guys, uh, I'm gonna end this video with a stay safe, have fun. Keep <laughs> shells flying, keep your enemies dying. Your Cobra Commander is out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.